Hi everyone, earlier I posted a video of the new Nespresso Creatista Plus by Breville that I just picked up from Sir Latab, and uh, I did an initial overview of the machine. Um, today I wanted to go ahead and make a, a milk-based uh, beverage um, and show you guys uh, how it operates. Yesterday I played with it a little bit. Um, discovered uh, some of its features and want to share a few of those um, with you. So the machine has not been turned on. Again, uh, Nespresso says it has a three minute warm up. I'll go ahead and turn it on. And pretty much by the time the screen comes on, uh, you're ready to go. So super fast. Um, again, just a reminder, I have a Breville Oracle um, dual boiler machine, which is absolutely fantastic. But unfortunately, I run out of time in the morning. Um, dealing with a portafilter and grinding uh, the beans and if I don't use it frequently enough the beans go bad um, And then you've got to trash them and start over again. So so far the uh, Creatista Plus has been uh, At least this morning. I used it has been a great addition uh, for having something that's gonna provide um, stable um, consistent uh, flavor in my uh, espresso pulls. So what I wanted to do today, um, I had tested a couple of things yesterday and wanted to go ahead and share those um, with you guys today. Um, I think let's first, I'm willing to sacrifice uh, one of my uh, Voluto, uh, decaffeinated Voluto capsules um, for the sake of uh, experimenting. Um, we'll go ahead and put that in the machine. So what I wanted to take a look at was the actual uh, volume of the pour. So you can choose between a ristretto, espresso, or a lungo um, pull. And according to the manual, and this is pretty standard for an espresso, I'll show you the manual here. The Ristretto pulls at a 0.85 ounce shot. Espresso is always 1.35 ounces, and Lungo is a 3.7 ounce pull. So yesterday when I tested this using my um, measured shot glass of one ounce, it was pulling more than, um, if I'm doing a Ristretto, uh, it should do 0.85, and in my opinion, it was more than an ounce. But I want to go ahead and test it today and see how it does. Now, if you select the select button right here, the screen pops up and you can actually control how much coffee comes out in the pool. What I don't like about the machine is that I have no idea as I'm turning this, the amount that I'm changing it to. I can assume since I'm on Ristretto down here at the bottom, it's a 0.85 ounce pull. The next should be espresso, which would be 1.35, and you'll see the little white dotted line there is telling me my baseline ristretto. So now I should be at a 1.35 ounce pull. Next, in my opinion, would be lungo, 3.7 ounces. Turn it again, I have no idea what that is. Turn it again, I have no idea. So the instruction manual, nothing tells you what all of these increments are for, which I don't like. So that is the baseline ristretto. All right, the capsule's already in. Um, let me actually get my shot glass. I'll pull out the uh, little shelf right here. Here's my one ounce shot glass. You'll see the line uh, for the one ounce. <clears throat> and then all we do is go ahead and hit start. So that's one ounce, but this is a Ristretto shot. So Ristretto should be uh, 0.85 according to Nespresso, and I'm just over an ounce. So again, not 100% certain what's going on with that. Um, when I've pulled their Espresso shot, which is 1.35, I basically fill up the whole glass. I've had to stop it right at the, the edge of the glass. 
Um, so I don't know, either my glasses are slightly off or maybe the machine is slightly off, but still, in my opinion, it's a shot. It's not a ristretto, um, but you definitely have a shot. I did measure the glass earlier. I uh, put some liquid in and measured it um, in another measuring glass that I have that has an ounce line, and it is an ounce, so uh, the machine is pulling a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and set that aside. <clears throat> and... Let's make a milk-based drink. Get out of uh, the ristretto, espresso, lungo, flat white, cafe latte. So I have made a cafe latte. And what I found interesting about the cafe latte is that it will brew the espresso shot first and then steam the milk. Um, what I just discovered today in the manual is that a latte macchiato will steam the milk first, pour that into a glass, and then it will actually brew the shot. Um, if we, let me go to the instruction manual. There's several pages just on uh, milk-based drinks. So, let's see. Number seven, when milk frothing is complete, lift the steam wand, wipe with clean, damp cloth. Um, Pour the milk into the latte macchiato glass and place under the coffee spout. And then go ahead and brew. So what I thought originally was interesting, and I might just be losing my mind, um, that latte, it actually does it differently, and the latte macchiato um, does the milk first and then has you move it over, uh, which is cool that they've paid attention to that. All right, so before I make a latte macchiato, I want to go ahead and uh, pull an espresso shot just to test the quantity um, in comparison to the ristretto that I pulled earlier. Um, again, according to the Nespresso owner's manual, a ristretto shot by default is 0.85 of an ounce, espresso 1.35, and lungo 3.7 ounce. Now in the owner's manual, it also says that you can program the ristretto to pull from 0.85 up to two ounces, an espresso can be programmed from the standard 1.35 up to 2 ounces, and a lungo can be programmed from 3.7 ounces up to 5 ounces. So, what they're referring to, if we come back to espresso and hit the select button here, the coffee volume, as I turn it, you'll see uh, it increases and decreases. Now this baseline, I'm going to assume, according to the owner's manual, Espresso is 1.35. Um, now it says I can program this up to two ounces. So I would assume that if I crank this all the way to the top, that's two ounces. Um, if I take it all the way down, the owner's manual doesn't tell me what that is. So it might be 0.85 or ristretto. Again, I'm not, uh, not too clear. It would have been great if they would have told you how many ounces this is supposed to pull. All right, so that is our baseline, should be 1.35 of an ounce. We'll go ahead and um, confirm that. My capsule is already in the machine. And my measured uh, one ounce shot glass, you can see the uh, white line there. Go ahead and uh, start. Now the machine sounds louder on the video than it actually is in person. Uh, there was another review um, online, I think Amazon.com Canada, that uh, the reviewer said it was loud. I'm actually pleased with the noise level. Uh, again, coming from a $2,000 Breville Oracle machine uh, right next door. Um, it's great. So there's my one ounce, and that is, according to the manual, 1.35 ounce. Um, I would say by the looks of it, it looks pretty close. So the espresso shot would be about right on par. All right. So set that aside. And I want to show you um, making a latte macchiato. So we'll dispense the capsule. It automatically dispenses it or uh, throws it away, I should say. Insert a new one. Close the lid. And let's go ahead and scroll to our cafe macchiato. 
Now I did mention um, in my previous video that the cafe latte will brew the espresso shot first and then steam the milk. Uh, in reverse, the latte macchiato will steam the milk and then brew the shot. Um, so I'm glad that they did actually differentiate between the two. Uh, again, milk temp, you can set that. Um, milk froth, you can set that. The camera will zoom. I'm in a little trouble here. So right now the milk temp is very hot. Coffee volume is, I have no idea. The owner's manual does not tell you what it's set for, so it almost looks the same as an espresso shot, 1.35. Let me get back in there again. I prefer very hot milk temp. And milk froth, you can take this all the way up to eight. Baseline for a macchiato they have S7. You can take it down to a one. So we'll leave that at a seven, all right? So all of that is set. And then we want to lift or steam wand. Now this is gonna be tricky with one hand because it's actually a spring-loaded steam wand, as you can see here. Um, and the other thing I wanted to point out, I'll slide this back in, um, the milk jug has to touch the temperature sensor and that's how the machine knows um, that it's finished steaming the milk. All right, so let's see. Well, let me get the steam wand in. And you'll see it naturally sits on the temperature sensor. And we'll hit the start button, start milk. And you'll hear the pump. And while it's doing this, the light will flash around the ring of the milk. So it generally doesn't take very long for the milk to steam which I think is great, especially when I compare it to the Revel Oracle. And there's a lot of surface bubbles right now, but the machine really does do a fantastic job of steaming and frothing them out. All right, so the macchiato's done. I don't have a sponge on me, but once you lift it, it will auto purge. All right, so that's done. I combine the milk a little bit. All right, so we'll pour that into my cup. And then for the macchiato, uh, next is the shot. So it will automatically tell you, start coffee. So we're gonna hit the start button. And this is pulling uh, one espresso shot, so about 1.35 ounces. And there you go. Of course, you could definitely add a second shot if you uh, wanted to. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this review of uh, making a latte macchiato on the new Nespresso Creatista Plus. I appreciate any comments uh, or questions. I'll definitely write back. Uh, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Or feel free to subscribe, and I will be posting other review videos of... Uh, coffee gadgets or just other general tech gadgets. Um, look forward to uh, seeing your comments.